<laughs> we usually try to keep our edges nice and clean, but with Kikyu grass, this can be quite hard to do. So we have to periodically work on it. Sometimes for isolated rhizomes, like this ones, I just pull them off. But for thicker ones like these, I would usually resort to using tools. So for that, I use this. This is, a, this is what they call a half moon edger. It, as you can see, it gets the name from the shape. And we basically use this tool to clean up the edges, to remove stuff. And I'm going to show you how I use it. So as you can see, edge, doing some edging is a quick and easy way to make your garden bed look more presentable. Not unless you have a very bored toddler with you. <laughs> so hard. Normally I just use my bare fingers because it's easier to, mani to manipulate stuff that way. But in this case I'm going to use gloves because it rained earlier today and the soil is still rather wet. So it's sticking to my hands right now. I think you would agree that it looks much better already. Are you going to edge? <laughs>
edge, edge, edge. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no sound, no sound. <laughs> Parts of my maintenance work is also removing some stray weeds and grass. I can see a few there, but I have all of these spots in the ground, so I would need to remove some of them so I can get to it. Let's do that. Just be careful with my footing. Yeah, I think I have enough space to work around. So, let's carefully go in. And yes, I'm in. For tasks requiring precision such as these, I usually just use my fingers. It's easier to manipulate that way. Now for the grass. I see something here. Hmm. It's a rose. It sprouts from the rose. Maybe I need to cover it just so it doesn't get enough sunlight. The good thing about the rain is that it makes the soil soft, so removing the weeds gets much easier. I think we're done here. Another thing I would do once in a while is removing dead leaves. So those are the dried out leaves. I just pick out the ones that are that easily come off. I don't try to force it. anymore one more here and I've got them there's some here as well so I'll just pick them off Just one. There's not much to remove today because I've pulled out a lot of dead leaves last weekend. So most of them are still fresh. 
I usually don't bother with small dense rosettes like this Glauca but sometimes they can get quite annoying so I'll just pick whatever I can I think it looks much better already. I'm tempted to do that one as well, but it's so far away. Nah, never mind. I don't usually do this by sight, I just do it by touch. So I feel around and look for crispy or feel around until I feel something crispy. When you do this often, you know, this becomes natural. it annoying so I might as well the larger echeveria such as these is pretty much important because they require the airflow otherwise they would be more prone to rot as for the smaller types the ones that clump readily and offset so much removing the leaves is not as important for them because they naturally clump anyway and they would have less airflow. So you manage the rot differently. In my case, I would usually mitigate this by using some antifungal solutions. So I just spray them with it. As for the larger ones, I remove the old rotten and dried out leaves whenever possible. The sedums in this pot around the Black Prince and the Black Knights are doing really well. They're filling up the area nicely. There's still some gaps but you know they would they would just fill it up in time they would get all of it and I might need to trim them but that's what I wanted and I just hope that the, the black prince would grow and go above them because for instance this one this is starting to get overwhelmed but I'm going to leave it that way for now because it's still looking healthy. It's doing really well. The pearls in this area are doing great. But somewhere over here, not so much. I think I'll have to replace them soon. They're still showing signs that they're alive. But, you know, uh, I'll just probably replace them. I still have several strands from my main plant and I'm going to insert some stems here. I'll transfer the, the dry ones, put them somewhere where they can try regrowing. This might still be alive. I'll just put it here. You 
and I'll pick some from this basket let me just hang it up there. I'll pick a few strands So we'll start with this. I'll pick a few more. I'll top them off with a bit of soil so they won't dry out. That way they would have somewhere to grow the roots and they would be anchored here. Oh, some dry leaves. Sorry guys, can't help it. So what to do with all of these dry stems? I'll just keep them here with my leaf propagations and see if they recover. I hope they would but it's okay if they don't. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers might notice a continuity error with my next few episodes and that is fine, it's totally intentional. In case you haven't noticed it, I've already worked on the arc in the garden in a previous episode but in the next few episodes you'll see that it's not yet done it's mainly because I, I worked on this footage before I worked on the arc but I moved around the order of the videos because I wanted to give some time to gather your thoughts and your suggestions for the, for the arc so I'm hoping to get at least one week one week's worth of wait, one or two weeks that should be fine that should be long enough to gather ideas and suggestions because I have my own ideas as well. I would show them in an episode or maybe in a, in a short bites video. I really want to share what's on my mind. I'm really excited to work on it already. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like on the video and please subscribe to get notified for more videos like this. You could also check out my socials, my Facebook and Instagram for photos because I usually post a bunch of succulent related photos there. To keep up to date with my videos, you might want to check out my Twitter account because 
all notifications for video updates, video uploads, they're all in there. So my next few episodes will be more about day-to-day -day stuff, I guess, because I'm buying time for, for gathering suggestions. So as you can tell, it's already raining here. We've got a, th we've got a thunderstorm this weekend. So wherever you are, stay warm and stay dry.